Hi everyone, this is a short video just showing the update to the Wii Capture app for Apex users. Uh, first thing is we just open up the app and we just check in settings. We're tapping into settings um, that we have uh, registration recognition enabled there. That's one of the new features. Uh, photo stages, etc., will be already on. Then we go to advanced settings and we see enable registration barcode should already be on. Uh, timestamp photos obviously and then we come down here and we see Apex agreement screen we just enable that one and then we go just to make sure update server data and that's all complete and ready to go then we tick back out of advanced settings once again back to the home screen so what you'll notice now we're just about to go out and take some photos is that when I tick on or click on photos it goes directly to the first photo that I want to take rather than taking us through the screen where we need to enter registration number etc and I'll show you how that works in a second so the first photo I want to take is the front of the vehicle this is where I'm going to capture the registration number of the vehicle Okay, then I move on to my next stage, which in this case is mileage and fuel. I won't go through all the stages of the photos, you know what they are, and it guides you through them. Um, we'll just take the next one. Okay, next stage. And we'll jump out of there. And now, as you'll see, it's brought up automatically my registration number of my vehicle. I've ordered, also those will have changed order. Typically you've had the RA number first, but now it'll have the registration number. So then obviously you go through, um, put an RA number, uh, MVA number, that's a scan obviously, um, of, the, of the sticker that you've got on the car. Now the next new field here we had is COF, uh, cough expiry. So if you tap in there, you'll see you've got a, a number of options which spin. So that's where you get to choose by looking at the sticker, obviously, when it might be expiring. So we tap in there, December 18, just for an example. And the customer email, as you know, is there for to, to, if, the, if the customer requires photos or copies of the photos. And of course your notes. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to send photos now. Now what you see comes up is now a copy before we send the photos of the uh, vehicle information sheet which is dragged through the registration number and the um, car registration number it's got it in the wrong order because of um, we need to swap that around uh, but then what we do is get the customer to take a look at that read that obviously tick it off and then we can get them to put their little initials or signature into the glass it works particularly well with your finger or your thumb better than a pencil and then once we're done with that, we go back up and we send it. And it'll do the same thing as it normally does, provided our Wi-Fi is okay. And then comes up, congratulations. And that will have sent the photos through that you took, plus a PDF copy of the, um, of the information sheet that they signed, which obviously if you've e you chosen to email it to them or you email them to them later, they will get copies of both the photos and the information sheet. And that's it.